Hello everyone and welcome to this, the latest episode of Book Time with Elvis with me, Mark. Two videos in one day. I don't know what's happened. You can see I've changed from the last video. It's really hot here. Really hot. I have to say, I don't blame Elvis for hiding away. He is in here at the moment though. Um, yeah, I'm sitting in a different place and I've just been rearranging my uh, bookcases and I've tried to move some books in here. So I have a better and more bookish background for future videos, which I think will be better. It's definitely more comfortable for me to record in this room, but it's a very, well, it's a large room, but it's not particularly wide. So yeah, it's a bit strange the layout if you actually saw it, but I think for video making, at least through the summer, uh, this should work better. Anyway, welcome to this episode. I'm going to give you a June wrap up, and that of course includes uh, that wonderful um, reading event, June on the Range, started by Michael K. Vaughan with a host of other wonderful um, co-hosts uh, who of course I will leave a link to all of them uh, down below. So let's start off with June on the Range then. Um, I read eight Western novels. Um, actually that's not true. I read seven Western novels, one book of short stories, and uh, also a couple of random short stories from a uh, big uh, volume of Louis L'Amour that I have, as well as uh, two Lucky Luke uh, comics, or graphic novels, if you want to call them that. And uh, it's been wonderful, wonderful experience. I think almost all the books were uh, five-star reads. They were really fantastic. Um, so let's just run through what I have read uh, in terms of westerns. I read True Grit by Charles Portis. I've made a separate video about that as well as I think in the same video I did uh, 310 to Yuma and other stories by Elmore Leonard and The Quick and the Dead by Louis L'Amour. I had a stab at a uh, western written by uh, an Englishman a British man, I did it in the video when I talked about it, and that was Break Heart Pass by Alistair MacLean. Uh, and then probably my two favorites, actually. Well, no, True Grit was amazing, actually. True Grit really was amazing. So probably True Grit, and then the next two uh, would be my favorites. Though, that, though to be honest, I really enjoyed all of, all of what I read. Uh, they're both by the same author, Glennon Swarthart, Swartholt. Uh, the first is The Shootist, and the next is The Old Colts. Um, another Louis L'Amour, Hondo, which I really enjoyed, uh, and uh, I have spoken about that recently in another um, video. I've also read uh, Valdez is Coming by Elmore Leonard, which was great. Thoroughly enjoyed that as well. Um, the two Lucky Luke uh, graphic novels I read, one was um, uh, uh, Billy the Kid, uh, Lucky Luke and Billy the Kid, and the other was something in the Daltons, which I've forgotten, but I will put that, uh, I will put that, you'll see it appear here anyway, so don't worry too much about it. Um, and now I look silly because I'm saying I don't remember it and then it'll be popping up on the screen, but there you go. And then I've got one uh, called The Isabel Kid by J.T. Edson, which I'm almost finished, but not finished in time uh, to make this video. And also Dead Man Walking uh, by uh, Dead Men Walking, Dead Men's Walk. Why can I never remember the title? Uh, by Larry McMurtry, the first in the uh, Lonesome Dove books, uh, which, again, I haven't finished yet, but I hope to finish uh, in July. It's also very good. And I did plan to read a Carol May or Carl May uh, work about Winnetou, which uh, Carl May was a um, German author writing in the 19th century, and unfortunately I haven't got round to him yet. I will try and maybe do him... Uh, at some point in the year because, you know, I got the book and I might as well read it. But it seems uh, time has run out for this uh, great event, though I'm not, you know, to be honest, I'm not going to restrict myself just to reading Westerns uh, in June. 
uh, I might uh, sneak the odd one here and there between now and uh, next year. I did read uh, two books this month that were not westerns. Uh, one was The Stepford Wives by Ira Levin. Um, that was very enjoyable. Um, dark, of course. Um, you probably know it. It's, it's very famous. I don't really need to, to dwell on it, perhaps. Uh, but I enjoyed it. It was a good read, uh, for sure. And I am very tempted to delve into other Ira Levine works during the summer, but perhaps something like Rosemary's Baby. I'm not a horror reader, as I've said often on this channel, but I may just give it a go. And the other book uh, that I finished in June, uh, which I think I mentioned in my last video, is the first book in the Charlie Chan series by Elder Biggers, and it's The House Without a Key. Um, it was a fantastic mystery. Uh, it was well written. It was funny. Uh, the character of Charlie Chan is extremely likable. Um, and, you know, it's very easy to say things are of their time, but I think to some degree this book was ahead of its time. The author makes uh, a lot of his uh, other characters quite racist. Um, however, he paints a really loving and uh, nice uh, picture of or portrait of uh, the character Charlie Chan, which is, I think, is not, of course, it's easy for me to say that people will be like, oh, you know, you're not Chinese or you're not Chinese American. But it does come across to me, at least, as a sympathetic um, portrait. And he is very much the hero uh, of the story. Without him, uh, you know, the bad guys would get away. And he and I, I think the other characters appreciate that, certainly by the end. Uh, and I would very much recommend uh, you giving it a go if you like mysteries and uh, you know it's in the public domain of course you can download it for free um, and uh, you know I'm half, halfway through three quarters of the way through the second book and that is uh, also extremely good uh, and I'm looking forward to finishing that so that is my very brief uh, wrap up for the month of June and I will be back at some point of the weekend maybe talking uh, a bit more uh, about uh, what's coming up in July. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all again soon. From Elvis and I, all the best. Bye-bye.